Question number six, Materia Ture. Thank you, Mr Speaker. My question is to the Prime Minister and us. Is he confident that his government's budget will protect New Zealand's environment, which he recently described as, quote, a huge part of our brand? The Honourable Prime Minister. Mr Speaker, Mr. Speaker well, firstly, can I congratulate the member on her uh, elevation to the position as co-leader of the Greens. Uh, <clears throat> And secondly, yes. Materia <laughs> Ture. Can the Prime Minister identify the species that he thinks can go extinct in light of his $54 million budget cut to the Department of Conservation? And are these extinctions part of his vision for our brand? The Honourable Prime Minister. Well, Mr Speaker, Mr Speaker, the Department of Conservation, like every other government department, is having to learn to live with uh, the more difficult economic times that we find ourselves in. Uh, the member quoted a, a number which spanned a four-year period. Remember, the member quoted a number that spanned a four-year period. In that four years, on the predictions that I have, conservation will spend roughly $1.7 billion. That's a lot of money going into conservation. Materia Tude. Thank you, Mr Speaker. How will reducing the biosecurity surveillance budget by 11 per cent help to safeguard both the farm and forestry economy, or are more introduced pests and more introduced diseases part of his vision for our brand? The Honourable Prime Minister. Speaker, no. The Honourable David Parker. Thank you. Uh, will the Prime Minister guarantee that the $9 million cut to dock output class management of national heritage, which covers weed and pest control in national parks and other dock land, will he guarantee this will not result in significant job losses and unemployment for those who work carrying out pest and weed eradication? The Honourable Prime Minister. Oh, Mr Speaker, all I can say is that $419 million is going into conservation over the next 12 months. Yes, the Conservation Department will have to learn to live with more difficult economic conditions. That is a fact that is not lost on every other New Zealander except the members of the Labour Party who still think they're back there with massive surpluses can spend whatever they like and just whack it on the bill. Could, order. Could. order. 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 Now look, the Leader of the Opposition and his front bench colleagues should show a little courtesy to the co-leader of the Greens because they are interjecting so loudly across the House I had no chance of hearing Matilda Ture. Who has the floor? Thank you, Mr. Point of order, the Honourable David Cummins. Uh, Mr. Speaker, you've previously uh, enjoined the House to respect the use of parliamentary questions to give straight answers. It's quite clear that the Prime Minister, in his response by the use of the latest Crosby Texter phrase, has uh, sought to bring disrepute order. on the opposition. Order. Order. And we should be entitled order. to respond. Order. The member cannot use a point of order to debate an answer, the quality of an answer given by a minister or the Prime Minister. I, you know, I, and the Honourable Annette King shouldn't keep interjecting while I'm trying to rule on a matter. I just ask members to be a little reasonable. It's not unreasonable to, to show a little courtesy. That's all I'm asking. Just a little courtesy to Matilda Tude. Thank you, Mr Speaker. Can the, minister, the Prime Minister describe how cutting back the Community Conservation Fund will, quote, encourage the initiatives of thousands of volunteers and dozens of organisations to participate in their local conservation projects, a stated goal of the National Party 2008 election policy. The Prime Speaker, uh, Mr Speaker, the, the Conservation Fund was to have funding of $4 million. It now has funding of $2 million. All of the 46 community projects uh, that had been started will continue to be funded. Uh, there are other options for community projects, uh, and that includes everything from the lotteries uh, funding right through uh, to regional councils. But as I say, everyone is having to live with more difficult economic conditions. Does the Prime Minister consider that our conservation estate is a vital attraction for tourists? And if so, how does he consider funding cuts to those who trap the pests, 
to those who cut the tracks, to those who pull the weeds, will affect our indigenous flora and fauna upon which much of our tourism industry is based. The Honourable Prime Minister. Uh, this week in answer to the first question, uh, yes, in answer to the latter, because I expect the Conservation Department to be able to learn to live with $419 million, not $431 million, and I don't think that's a big ask. How does cutting the budget for education for sustainability, such as the Matauranga Taiao programme, education for sustainability advisors, and enviro schools enhance our brand, or are eco-literate children not part of his vision of New Zealand's future brand? The Honourable Prime Minister. Uh, Mr. Swigan, answer the last part of the question, yes. Supplementary. Mr. Speaker, supplementary. Does the Prime Minister agree that New Zealand's clean green reputation, indeed New Zealand's clean green brand, is worth billions of dollars to the New Zealand economy, to thousands of New Zealand businesses, struggling New Zealand businesses, and that during a recession we should be doing more to protect our environment on which our economy is based and not less? Speaker, uh, well, I certainly agree uh, that part of, the, of New Zealand's important brand is the clean green image, uh, and that is one of the reasons why uh, funding in the budget has been as excessive as it has, because it's very important that we maintain that brand. But it's equally important, it's equally important that we realise we have to live within our economic means, and I don't think a very modest uh, reduction in expenditure is out of question for any government department at the moment. Point of order. Point of order, Materia Turei. Thank you, Mr Speaker. I seek leave to table the uh, National Party's 2008 conservation policy encouraging community conservation. Leave us sought to table that document. Is there any objection? There is no objection. Point of order. Point of order, Materia Turei. I seek leave of the House to table a press release describing a report from PA Consulting Group identifying uh, the extent and the dollar value of New Zealand's uh, environment on our economy. Leave us sought to table that press release. Is there any objection? There is no objection. Question number seven, the Honourable Ruth Dyson. My question is to the Minister of Health. Does he still stand by his policy?